And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Volcanodon, which was a request from Odin Sutherland and Dinosaur4602, so thanks. Volcanodon was a sauropod that lived in the Jurassic in what is now southern Africa. It was quadrupedal with column-like legs, a long neck, and had a long tail. Based on the skeletal remains found, it was at least 21 feet or 6.5 meters long, though Gregory Paul estimated it to be 35 feet or 11 meters long. It's also estimated to weigh 3.5 tons. Volcanodon was an early basal sauropod. Not much is known about the skull or the neck. I was thinking 3.5 tons and 21 feet sounded pretty big until you said sauropod. Right. And now it sounds small. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's just how it goes for sauropods. <laughs> But it was estimated to weigh three and a half tons. It was an early basal sauropod. Not much is known about the skull or neck of Volcanodon. The forelimbs were more similar to later sauropods, though about three quarters the length of the hind limbs. So proportionally, they were long. Yeah, but that means that it was kind of angled downwards towards the head. So maybe it was a low browser, not like a giraffe titan type that was angled straight up. Yeah, maybe. Volcanodon had a large claw on the first toe of each foot, and the claws and second and third toes were broad and nail-like, which is similar to Tadzodosaurus, a close relative sauropod that was found in Morocco, but it's not similar to other sauropods. Volcanodon had spoon-shaped teeth. There's only one species, there's Volcanodon caribaensis. It was found in 1969 in Zimbabwe, and it was found on an island in Lake Kariba in northern Zimbabwe which used to be Rhodesia. Lake Kariba is the largest man-made lake in the world. That's a little fun fact in and of itself. I had no idea the largest man-made lake in the world was in Zimbabwe. Yeah, me either, until I researched this dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> so B.A. Gibson found Volcanodon, and a team collected the fossils between October 1969 and May 1970. It was described in a brief note at a symposium in Cape Town in 1972 by Michael Roth, the genus name means volcano tooth. The skeleton was found in sandstone on island 126-127, it doesn't have an official name, <laughs> in the Volcanodon beds sediment in the Batoka Formation with flood basalts. At the time Volcanodon lived, there was a lot of volcanism and lava flows. The genus name refers to the Roman god of fire, Volcanus, and it's combined with the Greek word odon for tooth. And then the species name, you can guess, refers to Lake Kariba. Volcanodon is one of the first dinosaurs found in Zimbabwe. They found a fragmentary skeleton, pelvis, sacra, most of the hind limb and foot, right forearm, right thigh bone, and tail vertebrae, but no skull was found. Jeffrey Bond and Michael Cooper found more fossils later, including a shoulder blade and part of a neck vertebra. Originally, Volcanodon was thought to be a prosauropod. They found knife-shaped teeth near the fossils, and prosauropods may have been omnivorous, but it turns out those teeth are actually from a theropod that may have scavenged the Volcanodon carcass. Roth thought at first that Volcanodon was an advanced prosauropod, and then in 1975, Arthur Cruikshank showed that it was a sauropod. Volcanodon's fifth toe is the same length as fifth toes on sauropods. For a long time, scientists thought that Volcanodon lived in the early Jurassic or the Triassic-Jurassic boundary and thought it to be the earliest known sauropod, but Adam Yates in 2004 found Volcanodon was much younger from the late Jurassic. Yeah, we don't have the greatest stratigraphy in Africa. We need to do a lot more paleontology there. Figure out these dates. More proof that Volcanodon wasn't one of the earlier known sauropods is that in 2000, scientists described the sauropod Sanosaurus from Thailand and that lived in the Triassic, so well before Volcanodon. Volcanodon probably lived in a desert-like environment, and its fossils are now stored in the Natural History Museum of Zimbabwe. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.